Hello everybody, and welcome to Cryptids and Critters Paranormal. I'm your host, the Dooster, and with the New Year's Day fast approaching, I got a little story I want to share with you. It may explain a few things, the way we do things in the South. Uh, have you ever wondered why people in the South eat black-eyed peas on New Year's Day? Well, the story of this Southern tradition of eating black-eyed peas as a first meal on New Year's Day dates back to the winter of 1864. When Union General William Sherman led his invading troops on their destructive march through Georgia, the fields of black-eyed peas were largely left untouched because they were deemed fit only for animals and were not normally used for human consumption. The Union scavengers took everything, including horses, cattle, sheep, hogs, and anything else they wanted. They plundered the land and burned pastures, cotton fields, corn fields, and leaving anything they could not take with them, either burning or in shambles. They burned homes, barns, stables, and left a complete trail of destruction along their path. In an attempt to destroy the South, they demolished roads and railroads. They usually removed the wooden cross ties from the railroad and set them on fire. They then placed the iron rails on the, on the fire until they were red hot and then being softened by the heat, they were wrapped around trees, forming them into the shape of a hairpin. These were commonly called Sherman's neckties. Two items remained after this trail of destruction. The lowly black-eyed peas and good old southern salted pork. As a result, the humble yet nourishing black-eyed peas saved surviving southerners, which were mainly women, children, the elderly, and disabled veterans of the, construct of the Confederate Army from mass starvation. From that point on, black-eyed peas were regarded as a symbol of good luck and are said to bring good fortune. It can be said that the starving southern families and soldiers were very fortunate to have these meager supplies to get them through. According to the tradition, the peas are served with several other dishes that symbolically represent good fortune, health, wealth, and prosperity in the coming year. Greens represent wealth and paper money. Any greens will do, but in the South, the most popular ones are collard greens, mustard greens, turnip greens, and cabbage. Also served with this meal usually is cornbread, which symbolizes gold and is very good for soaking up the juice from the greens on the plate. Pork symbolizes prosperity in the, in the year ahead. Ham and hog jowls are typically with the New Year's meal, although sometimes bacon will be used. Pigs always root forward, so it's a symbolic moving forward for the New Year. So remember, just remember the story when you sit down at your family table and enjoy this uniquely southern meal every New Year's Day. Be thankful for what this year did give you in spite of the bad and hope and pray for better days that are coming ahead for you. And that is a true story. Uh, it is how the tradition got started of eating black-eyed peas and cornbread and greens and salt pork on New Year's Day. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like and uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, share it. And uh, like I said, once again, this is the Dooster. And I uh, enjoyed uh, speaking with you today, and uh, we'll catch you on the next time. Thanks for watching.